You might be hearing some of the controversy starting up over how our children are tested in school. Some believe the new core system will give our children an international edge. Others say the schools are headed in the wrong direction. So where does that leave you and your children? You decide. No pencils, no fill-in bubble sheets, and no more star tests. People will still call it star, but star doesn't exist anymore. If you're taking notes, jot that down. Now it's called Smarter Balance. It's had, I think, three different names since the law came out. Whatever it's called, it's a new way to measure how our kids are doing in school. All part of the Common Core. New standards for areas like math and English. New curriculum means new testing. We're testing the test, which is extraordinarily important for anybody. No scores, no evaluations, no impact on GPAs for this initial field test, but it's coming at a time when some students are just plain sick and tired of tests. So it didn't seem like a big deal to opt out of the test, but uh, it looks like maybe it might have been. To make matters more complicated, other testing is still being done. Audrey Swanson's 10th grader was part of a group that protested taking a different test, just as they're also taking AP exams and their first exam under the new Common Core. That it wasn't all that important. It wasn't that necessary to take one more test that really didn't count when they have other tests that are much more important and that do count towards their GPA. And Common Core is also running into opposition. All but six states have adopted the standards. But there's a growing movement, coast to coast, for parents to opt their kids out of that testing. Santa Barbara School Superintendent says it hasn't happened here locally, but at least one parent is thinking about it. Common Core is the Pandora's box of education. Lori Anderson believes the new Common Core falls short for her nine-year-old son, and she's up in arms over this new field test. They have no idea what they're being tested on. Teachers don't know how to prepare the students for the tests. They don't know what kind of equipment, what the results are going to be. It's, it's, it's like our kids are guinea pigs. It made it harder the further you got, but it seemed like it would get easier if you didn't like know it. Caden Koldombrowski took the test and said using a computer made it less confusing than the old fill-in-the-bubble style. Still, she agrees the field test requires a balance and patience by everyone, including teachers. Because they're trying to tell us like what, how it's going to work, but they really don't understand it. Yes, parents can opt out, but Santa Barbara superintendent is adamant the field test is extremely important. He doesn't recommend students skip it. I don't want to have an assessment instrument that we don't know how to deliver. There will still be issues next year. It won't be perfect. Educators like Cash have a lot of convincing to do when it comes to some skeptical parents. These standards are subpar. Boy, those are people who haven't spent much time particularly looking at the math. What I saw in the English language arts in particular, expecting kids to to cite sources, to cite evidence, to highlight the evidence in a text that they were going to use to support their argument. Those are things I have to do every day in my job. We're going from local control to federal control of education. That's a lot of additional misinformation. It wasn't created by the federal government, by the Department of Education. It was created by actually governors and state superintendent of public instruction. In the end, this is on our children. So who better to give us advice about change? I think that they should just uh, try it out for a while. And if they don't like it, then they can say that they don't like it because we haven't really tried it yet. So they don't know what it's going to be like. In Santa Barbara, Beth Farnsworth, News Channel 3. I spoke with a number of educators who did not want to talk on camera. Many are concerned about students, particularly with reading issues and this new online testing. It is unclear what's ahead for remedial or ESL students at this time. The Smarter Balance field test linked to the new core curriculum is happening now through May. I would imagine, too, there are a lot of parents out there who don't even know about a lot of this That's stuff. That's absolutely the truth, they yes. they got to go check it out? Yep. Okay. Do their own okay. research. Good job. A local